Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Jay Xavier Sports. Very excited about the season. The season is right around the corner. Um, our rookies and first year players get to report to training camp July 18th. Um, and then on July 20th, the, the, the quarterbacks will come into training camp. And then July 25th is when the actual, all the players will be out there uh, ready to go, ready to work. My first preseason game is less than a month away. So guys, the season is almost here. I'm pumped, I'm ready to go and you know, I'm just wait. I'm just wondering and waiting to see how this team is going to look and respond to the to the wonderful magical year that we got to experience last year. A lot of analysts and a lot of pundits uh, will probably will you know probably will say the Jaguars will probably take a step back this year or it won't be the same team as far as uh, the quality of wins and how deep we made it into the playoffs. But one analyst in particular, uh, former quarterback Tony Romo, pretty sure everybody. Um, in my generation, at least, I've got to see him play and I've got to see him um, grow as a quarterback. So we know the type of quarterback he is, the type of player he is. But if you've seen him on TV um, this past couple years, um, being in the booth, or actually this past year being um, uh, being in the booth, he's a very articulate guy. He, he knows the, the game of football in and out. He knows the X's and O's. He damn near predicts the plays before it happens on TV. Now, here's what he had to say about the possible Super Bowl uh, prediction for this year in 2018. Take a look. Because of those guys. Well, it's going to be a big year two for you, broadcasting the Super Bowl already. If you had to pick right now, who's in that game? Oh, if I had to pick right now? It's pretty early. The thing about the NFL is things change pretty fast. Injuries happen. A lot of stuff happens. But... Um, if I was picking right now, I'd probably go with I'd probably go with Green Bay versus Jacksonville. I think that would be just a tentative, rough guess here in the in the summer months. You know, you can never count out New England as long as Tom Brady and Bill Belichick are breathing. You know, the easy pick is them, but um, you know, I think that Jacksonville had them on the ropes last year. It was close. Wow, that's surprising, isn't it? Um, now, I, I saw an article on Big Cat Country, if you guys don't know what that is, if you're not Jaguar fans, it's just a Jaguar blogging website. Uh, they actually wrote an article about this as well, I saw this morning. So, um, I was very excited when I heard Tony Romo say this, because most media outlets or most uh, analysts, when it comes to the Jaguars, we always get this sort of shade or disrespect thrown at us, because, I don't know, maybe it's because we're in Jacksonville, we're a small market, um, we don't have a lot of stars on our team. Um, but you see that's sort of the, uh, starting to change a little bit. You know, guys like Jalen Ramsey, Unique Ngakwe, they're growing in the eyes of the, the NFL, you know, Calais Campbell. And then if you look at our team, the way it's structured, you know, run the ball, play defense. It's not a lot of teams in NFL history that don't win with that formula being successful. It was just strange to see, you know, that an analyst actually picked us to win the Super Bowl. Or not win the Super Bowl, but at least participate in the Super Bowl. And... You know, for Tony Romo to come out and say that on national television, I think that's a big deal because not just because, you know, um, it's Tony Romo and just somebody just picking, my, you know, my team to win a Super Bowl. But it's a big deal because we don't get the dis uh, we don't get the respect that we deserve. And we always team to, uh, seem to get disrespected around the league. Because I guarantee you most analysts will just say, oh, yeah, they had a great year last year, but I don't expect them to go to the AFC Championship game, or, you know, I don't expect them to make the playoffs. Deshaun Watson's going to win the division. We hear these things on a daily basis. You know, Andrew Luck is going to come in and uh, win the division. And, you know, the, the Jaguars aren't for real, you know, this and that. And we hear this all the time. And, you know, it's up to, you know, the Jaguars to prove them wrong, you know. And that's all we can do. It's just good to see and it's refreshing to see um, a guy like Tony Romo, as smart as he is, picks the Jaguars. Um, I think he had him versus uh, Green Bay Packers. I truly believe he believes that we're a, a good enough team to win the Super Bowl. Um, David Garrard even came out a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago and said that the Jaguars have a Super Bowl caliber team. By us losing in the AFC Championship game last year, um, that means that we have the potential to be in that position again. But we have to understand that the mountain to climb to get to that point is going to be a little bit different this year than last year. Like I said in my previous video about Bortles, you know, our offense may have to carry us this year. Not to say that our defense is going to be bad, but, you know, it takes different ways to win football games every year. So um, we just have to be mindful of that, and, and I just can't wait. I feel like our team is very ultra-focused. 
we know what our mission is and we know what we're trying to prove this year and accomplish. So, um, you know, the sky is the limit for the Jaguar. So definitely leave a comment below um, if you have anything to add on to that or if you think the Jaguars truly are a Super Bowl caliber team. Who knows? Just leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys respect, you know, Tony Robo's opinion of us being in the Super Bowl. Um, but this it was it was very exciting for me to hear that that an analyst actually picked the Jaguars to win you know win the Super Bowl. Appreciate all you guys subscribing to me, um, showing me love, commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. I try to comment on um, everybody's or uh, comment back to everybody that comments in the uh, comment section. So you know I love to have a little discussion and things like that when it comes to the Jaguars. Culture, but uh, me and my boy Alfred, uh, we're you know we're doing like. Uh, some sort of what, a podcast or radio show and we want you guys you know if you're interested to go ahead and check it out it's going to be mainly you no know, now we're just talking about all sports involved um, it's called unspoken culture I'm going to put the link in there um, in, in those videos for like the SoundCloud link and uh, so you guys can listen to it on SoundCloud as well and thank you guys for watching uh, go Jags cannot wait for the season to start like I said preseason games are less than a month away so the season is almost here I hope you guys are as Geek as I am. Let's go.